Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to create a tile. Um, there's many different ways to create tires um, using all different types of polygons. You could use this polygon torus, you could use the pipe, whatever you like to create a tire. There's so many different ways to create a tire. Um, the way I tend to use is the simplest, quickest, fastest, and my personal preference is the best results. Um, so how I do this is I use something called a CV curve tool. So if you go up to create, then CV curve tool. Um, and this is what we're going to use to draw out our wheel. So go into your top view. And then you kind of get an idea of how you're going to draw it out. So let me start my first point here. You ain't got to be a hundred percent. You can change these points afterwards, and you know, get whatever kind of shape you want. Now let's bring that across. Bring that there. Like I said, it's not got to be a hundred percent. If you don't like the way it looks, you can change it. Um, you can change it by using a control vertex tool, and you can kind of move these around to get whatever kind of shape you want. Now you can see mine's not a hundred percent. It's not symmetrical both sides, but it gives you an idea of what we're trying to create. Um, so yeah, once you're happy with the shape you got, let's go back to object mode. And so yeah, once you're happy with the shape you got, let's go back to perspective mode. And of course, that's not a will. So what you want to do after this is you want to come up to this little menu here, and you want to make sure that it's in the it's on the surfaces option. So once you once you've selected the surfaces options up here on the top menu, you have the option for surfaces, and on the first option within surfaces will be the revolve tool. And you want to make sure it's on the x axis, and you want to make sure that it starts at zero degrees and finishes at three hundred and sixty. If you if you make this say for example one hundred and eighty, you have half a tire, etc. Um, in the segments option, this is just how many polys you're going to have within the tire. And so once you've kind of gone through the options and chose what you like, then click the Revolve tool. And as you can see, we have a kind of tire. The tire is not 100% and that's not the kind of tire you want. So you want to find, let's go, let's go back to the Curve tool, wherever that is. Yep, you want a Curve tool and Control Vertex. And of course, the tie is still influenced by the curve tool. So if you kind of change the vertices, kind of get what you like, you could maybe bring them in. You know, kind of get whatever tie you like, and yeah, just kind of get whatever you like. You can change it however you like. And of course, all all of these all of these these vertex points influence the tire. So you could bring that in see how you can you kind of get loads of different kind of shapes and get whatever you like and that's a quick and quick and easy way to get a tire that you like it's very simple it's quick it's efficient and you can get really really good results and get results that you want and with a really low poly count